This bird observer. observatory is uh, to monitor spring migration and fall migration. This is our main bird observatory because it's open to the public and it's on the mainland. We've got two other bird observatories, one that's about 10 kilometers down the tip um, called Breakwater and then one at the tip at the lighthouse called the tip. So this is a great cheek thrush. We can tell that from um, other thrushes because it doesn't have uh, white or the buffy spectacles that um, Swainson's thrushes have and it's also sort of a heavier, bulkier bird with um, buffy spots that go quite far down the breast. This is actually a recaptured bird, which means that it's been previously banded. Of uh, every bird that we recapture, about one in 400 of them are our birds, and about one in 2,000 of them are birds from other bird observatories. So each band has a nine digit unique um, number on it, almost like a license plate, so there's no two that are the same. As you see, it moves freely up and down the leg, but doesn't go over the foot of the bird. Every day, sun, uh, nets are opened about a half an hour before sunrise and continued for six hours, so it's a standard effort, um, and we only collect or sample birds for six hours every day, and that's the same at all three stations. They're nicely sort of relaxed in a pocket of one of our nets, and then we extract them, and then they come back here. We put them in order that they've been extracted and then the bander takes them out one at a time and processes them. So we just extracted an American Red Start from our Miss Net 13. Um, this is actually a young male. We can tell by some of the black modeling that's coming through on the face. And uh, they're, they're a really pretty bird because when they fly away they always fan their tail and you get to see a flash of color. So did they give you everything for this bird? Yep, just need to wait. Okay, we put the bird in upside down. Take a weight, 42.5, and then we put them out the chute. So the, one of the main reasons that we put them in upside down is that when we put them out the chute, they can actually land on their feet and go towards the light. There is a lot of interest, and also uh, we're a nonprofit organization, so we really like to keep it open to the public so that they know um, most of this is fundraised, and uh, we get a lot of donations that way. We also uh, have a lot of kids that come through um, that turn into potential volunteers, so let's get that way too.